welcome to the second part of product design uh, in previous part we have done all those things uh, how to make the grid and how to make the mic so if you have missed my uh, this first part please do check my first part so it will be easy to understand what I have done so now uh, I'll take move tool again I'll make a copy of it this I want copy I'll press alt and track I'll press control T the same part I can match over here and I click and say perspective say scale say perspective enter so this can be matched like this so the end will will look uh, good and uh, I'll take again one strap just click on this new selection I can move the selection over here taking one more layer take this simple gradient and this will give the nice separation effect of the product and I'll give the bevel and emboss to make this look a very tight band size will be 2 and this will be mm, slightly come say ok and I'll take one more band over here or say very small very thin now I'll just fill with black line now I'll go to bevel and emboss this also will be a pillow emboss size will be 2 depth will be some around 20 and it's fine and same band I can copy by pressing alt I want this separator should be again over here say so press control T to make this band small to this line and I'll match the bottom also Uh, but in this case uh, we have to redefine our bevel and emboss effect so if you see the depth we can decrease with 20 I can go to below emboss is fine say 15 say ok so now I'll take a text with some around violet music take some somewhat as a techno font Let's see. 
control T I'll make this 90 degrees press control T for now I can just play with this this is looking fine I can come with the opacity again I can make this copy over here let's say and the numbers and this will be in Arial and the color will be white and size will be also very less I don't uh, it doesn't make any sense to make this numbers I'll go and again say the numbers the best way I'll take the vertical type numbers any the numbers number doesn't matter what which I'm just ty typing the randomly press control T Again, I'll take this with Arial and two with gray color and merge with multiply, and it's fine. But still, I want some boldness. So I'll make the whole this punch with one group. I'll say Control G and go with the background color. I'll press G for making a background. And take one more layer. take this dark gray go and say mask just mask this color so this is what uh, the mic the product design was if you want to tilt slightly and say control T the whole mic will tilt it so this was my tutorial uh, for the product design uh, you can do in Photoshop so if you like my lecture do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and if you want some kind of tutorial do let me know so I can make for you this was the request from my subscriber uh, so I've made it uh, thanks for watching my lecture